What is up guys, Mr. William Thor here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the achievement slash trophy Friends Forever and the Beast from Beyond fully restore Neil. To unlock this, you'll need to obtain four floppy disks to fully restore Neil. But before, you actually need to obtain uh, Neil's head from down the pit at the end of the catwalk near Tough Enough's perk. And you need to go back to the terminal in the spawn and place the head and that will basically restore Neil. And now we will need to obtain the four floppy disks. The first floppy disk can be found on the ground to the left of the Pack-A-Punch portal. To obtain the second floppy disk, you'll need to enter the Pack-A-Punch portal and teleport to the projector room. Once you come back, you'll notice that a phantom will spawn. You will now need to kill it in order to obtain the second floppy disk as it will drop it. To obtain the last two remaining floppy disks, you'll need to obtain the Entangler. For that, you'll need to complete the two first skulls, part of the Skull Breaker. So for the first skull, there are three possible locations, at least known at this moment, where you can actually find the first skull. The first location where I show you in the video is near the Bomb Stopper perk. And if you actually look up to the left, you'll see a box. If you hold a grenade or if you throw a C4, basically use something explosive, the box will open and a skull will appear so you can, you can actually shoot it. The second location is in the water treatment room above the door to the blue balls perk. And the third and final is in the cargo room above the stairs going down from the pillow. So it's actually quite simple. You'll see if the box is there in your game. Once you have found the first skull, go to the cargo room and uh, there will be an X, a uh, red X, on the ground somewhere within the cargo room. Of course, this depends on how many players you have in the match. So if you have two players, there will be two Xs, three players, three Xs, and four players, four Xs. But since I'm playing solo, there is only one red X on the ground. So basically stand on top of it and if you're playing with other players, make sure that all players stand on top of it at the same exact time and you'll notice that there will be a, a yellow circle on the ground and uh, a mini wave of zombies will spawn and there is uh, basically a skull and there is a timer to it and once it reaches the limit uh, it will teleport somewhere else within the cargo room and you have to be as fast as possible to grab it. If you do actually fail to grab the skull, you'll have to restart again. So just stand again in the next round on top of the uh, red uh, X and you'll be able to do it again. Now that you have obtained the entangler, you can entangle and shoot a space helmet at the green monitor in the back right of the medbay room. This will force the force field to open and you'll be able to enter the room and you can find the floppy disk inside. For the last floppy disk, you'll need to head to the red hallway and you'll need to entangle the floppy disk and shoot it towards the ventilation system and that will basically make it so it will uh, appear in another location which basically is another ventilation system. So just keep looking at the ventilation exits and you'll be able to find the last floppy disk. Now that you know how to obtain the four floppy disks, you'll need to find a, a paper scrap around the map that matches the symbols on your four floppy disks. As you noticed, each floppy disk contains a symbol. These symbols 
are different every game. So you'll need to every game find the paper scrap that actually has the same symbols that matches the symbols. So once you have located the paper scrap and there are four around the map, you can now uh, basically insert the four floppy disks in the order from top to bottom that appears on the paper scrap. You'll need to place them correctly in Neil and uh, you'll become angry and you'll be rewarded with the achievement slash trophy. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest videos. Thank you for watching and I'm out.